Today we are going to be demonstrating the injection of touch events into an LG G4 smartphone. We connect the phone and then switch the USB mode of the phone to a hidden mode that allows us to gain access to the AT command interface. We then issue two commands allowing us to bypass the USB connection prompt. From this point forward we can then issue arbitrary AT commands to the phone. We've constructed a series of demos allowing us to show the power of just one AT command on the phone. Notice how USB developer options is disabled and notice the version of Android we are testing on. Our attack is very versatile. It essentially is a way of automating touch events on a phone without any user interaction. We are able to change arbitrary settings if we are able to navigate to them just like a user and we are able to take pictures save them, delete them, edit them, send them, just like you as a user of a phone would. This next attack will demonstrate from start to finish the ability to bypass the LG G4's lock screen and enable USB developer options all without user interaction. Notice that we typed in a passcode and it was incorrect. But even if we've forgotten the passcode, if we have access to the AT command interface, we can issue a special command that allows us to bypass the lock screen. Additionally, we can automate touch events to reach the settings menu Go to developer options. Enable developer options, bypass any prompts, and then finally enable USB debugging, allowing us to get an ADB shell. From this point, we would be able to issue arbitrary commands to the phone with the privilege of ADB, but this includes the ability to install applications. For this next demo, we will be directly interacting with the LG G4 via the new AT command interface. First we switch the phone into the AT command mode and then we open an AT interact prompt <coughs> which allows us to interactively issue and receive the responses to AT commands. Once the prompt is established we issue a simple command to get some information about the phone. But next, we issue a special command found on LG devices, which allows us to enable ADB without developer options. Notice on the right side, we are now receiving logcat data directly from the phone without having developer options enabled. This gives us insight into what's happening in the phone as we issue AT commands. The next command is the AT proc act command. This was used by developers to view the proc file system to get insight into what processes were running but we have found a path traversal vulnerability in this command which allows us to read arbitrary files from the phone as long as the privilege of the AT command distributor is sufficient. 
This allows us to read any data from the SD card, including pictures and secret data. With this last command, we're able to figure out all of the available AT commands on the phone. And finally, we're able to reboot the phone via an AT command.